Hi everyone, uh, we are going to solve a question about inverse functions. But right now, uh, the question is about calculating results, finding results. So when it's about calculating results, you don't have to find the NIV rule. The first idea that I told you before, that is enough. So before trying for inverse, let's do this one first, f of four. Inside the function f, you are going to place four. You are going to replace x by four. Three times four plus five. That makes 17, okay? So now, right now I want to find f inverse of six. First thing, from this function, find inverse, which is whatever you have outside comes in, and whatever you have inside goes out. And I want to find a result for f inverse of six. So I don't need to make it with a right now. I can directly do it with six. So inside part, three x plus five must be equal to six. So three x equals six plus five will be minus five. So x equals or 3x equals 1 and x equals 1 over 3. So this result means to get 6 inside the parentheses, x must be equal to 1 over 3. And that will be the result. f inverse of 6 is equal to 1 over 3. So you will have in here 1 over 3 plus 17. To make this addition, there are two things that you can do, which is you can write 17 over one and make the denominators same, three and three, enlarge it by three. Or you can use a three key method in here, which is 17 is a whole number. One over three is kind of a fraction. You can connect them and write them as one number like 17 and one over three. Thanks for listening.